welcome to this collection video on the Sega Genesis. Uh, first of all, before I get into the games and the systems and whatnot, um, I wanted to dedicate this video to two of my gaming brethren, Kane Deathbreaker and the Woodbarian Retro Game Hunter. They are huge Sega fanatics and they've been having some issues lately and I just want to dedicate this video to them for them to keep on keeping on and uh, get better. Um, and I, I love you both guys and I, I hope you enjoy the video. So first up, um, I have a boxed Sega Genesis here. 16-bit core system, pretty sweet. Has a little wear around it, but it's still awesome that it's there. Shows some of the awesome games you could only find on Sega Genesis. Very cool stuff. Now, up here with the Sega, here is what the Model 1 looks like. This is the one that I play on all the time. And I am fortunate enough to have a power base converter which allows you to play Master System games. The card kind or the cart kind. Moving on. We have the Model 2 Sega Genesis. And from that big haul that I had, the Curly's Thrift Store in Richmond, the Model 3 Genesis. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the accessories here. We have a standard three button. We have uh, some SG Pro Pad 2 controller. We have a six button turbo controller. And two sweet gun cons. The Justifier, which is uh, well known for like lethal forces and whatnot. And then we got an off brand one that I haven't tested it out yet. Without out further ado, we'll go ahead and get into the games. First up, we got some loose card games in this box. So prepare for some Sega Genesis goodness here. We have Altered Beast, Alien 3, Alex Kidd in the Enchanted Castle, Batman Begins, Play Fighter. Love this game, love the one on the, the uh, Nintendo 64, Play Fighter 63 and the third. Cyborg Justice, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Warriors of the Eternal Sun, RPG, can't wait to dig into that one, Echo the Dolphin, Greatest Heavyweights with a little bit of rattle, so hopefully that one works, we have Green Dog, the Beached Surfer Dude, The Humans, which is a more recent loose game I picked up, Jungle Strike, the sequel to Desert Strike, even says it right on the label. Landstalker, another RPG that I heard is really good. Got this from my man BC. We have Lethal Enforcers. Looks like it's been through a gun battle. And then I have two copies of Miss Pac-Man. One has a yellow label, one has a pink. Not sure what the difference is. I mean, other than just being a variant. Uh, Outrun, classic, man. We have Outrun 2019, so this is what racing will look like in uh, the next year, I guess. Awesome RPG here, Fantasy Star 4. I think this is a lot of people's second favorite Fantasy Star next to the original on the Master System. We got Raiden Trad. Awesome. Uh, we have a really torn up copy of Rampart. Yeah, really torn up. A uh, game franchise that uh, didn't get off the ground, like they were trying to compete with Sonic, Rystar. It's pretty cool, pretty cool platformer. Played a little bit of it. Road Rash. Still need to play these games. Heard they're awesome. You're knocking guys off on uh, motorcycles with crowbars and your fists and feet and all that stuff. Sounds cool. Shadow of the Beast. A super Street Fighter 2. Uh, looks like Rue knocked the end of it off there with a big Hyrukin. The Simpsons Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Another Electronic Arts big game here, Sword of Sedan. We have Tasmania, classic Shmups franchise here. We got Thunder Force 3, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters. Very generic artwork on this one. Trampoline Terror, Virtual Bart, VR Troopers, and probably the best loose cart game, but I have to fix it because they are notorious 
for being really shoddily made for through Tengen uh, circuit boards. That is Grindstormer. Really want to try this one out. I heard it was a really awesome shoot em up. We're going to go ahead into the box games, which this is not actually a box game because it's printed off with a inkjet printer, but this is six pack, which has six classic games on there. Such as Sonic the Hedgehog, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage, Revenge of Sonobi, Column, and Super Hangover. We have The Adams Family. <laughs> Loose card. Well, no manual, rather. We have the classic Aladdin. Very fun, very challenging Disney game. Found that complete inbox. We have The Animaniacs. Love that show. No manual. How wacky. We have Awesome Possum. Not sure how awesome it is. I never played it. No manual. I heard all these uh, games here. These Disney games are really good. Including this one. Beauty and the Beast. Bell's Quest. No manual. We have another Beauty and the Beast. Roar of the Beast. Sequel. Apparently there was a Goodwill sticker on the back and I never cleared it up. That one's complete though. And a fairly new acquisition here. We have the Bernstein Bears Camping Adventure from Sega Club. I paid $5.95 before teacher discount on that bad boy. A little bit more than that. Anyway, that's complete with one of those Cheapo black and white manuals. We got MTV's Beavis and Butthead. Ha 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 ha. Look at the screenshots, dude. And that is complete. Boxing Legends of the Ring. A game I don't know if I ever play, but it's cool to still have. <laughs> Maybe I should give it a try. If anybody's played it, let me know. I mean, I'll give it anything a try. We have Bram Stoker's Dracula. That's complete. We have Chacon. I've heard uh, this is like the Forever Man in this pretty, pretty difficult platforming game. But, uh, there you go. That's platform action platformer. I guess. Whatever. Um, we have Championship Pro Am when they started going cheap, the cheap route with these boxes. That has the card and a really. Um, just a black and white kind of yeah, shoddy manual. We have Chuck Rock 2, the son of Chuck. Who Chuck is, I don't know. You know Chuck. There we go, we got Columns. Classic uh, puzzle game on there. Mine's not as classic because mine doesn't have a manual. We have a very beat up copy of Cool Spot. It's all taped together and all that. It's like all beat up, but hey, it's there. We have Demolition Man. Never even saw the movie, but there you go. Apparently, I need to fix that label, glue it down a little bit. Desert Demolition, starring Roadrunner and Wally Coyote. Another one of those cardboard box games. Manual's back there, and so is the game is in there. E SWAT. That is complete. Fighting game on the system, Eternal Champions. I think this copy has two uh, posters in there for some reason, but no manual. Yeah, two posters. Pretty cool poster though. Just looks like this. The Fairy Tale. That's an RPG for the system I still have yet to play. Paid $4.25 for it in Goodwill. And it looks like it's complete, but it's actually not. It's just the first page is torn off. The rest of it's not there, but. There you go. It looks like it's complete anyway. Uh -huh. Flashback, The Search for Identity. Heard this is a really great game. Uh, haven't tried it yet. Oh. And no manual. Everything fell. It's awesome. We have Golden Axe, the classic edition. Which just means I don't have as good big a cover as what the original does. But anyway, no manual for that one. Speaking of awesome freaking manuals, we have Golden Max 2. I mean, covers rather. I mean, that is an awesome cover. Love the artwork on 
a lot of these Sega Genesis games. And this one is complete. That's, that's awesome. Hard driving, first pl person racer. Using that blast processing graphics. Yeah. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. Getting close to the Christmas time. Might be a good game to play, who knows. Hook. Didn't realize this is based off the movie um, with Robin Williams in it, so definitely wants, makes me want to give it a play because I love that movie. Absolutely love it. Some of Robin Williams' best work, The Incredible Hulk. Has a poster, but no manual. Jewel Master, or this is a pretty fun game where you combine elements together to fight against enemies. No manual. Jurassic Park. That is complete. We have Kid Chameleon. I heard this one's a really fun action platformer game. Um, I have still yet to try it out. We have Krusty's Super Fun House. And it's featuring The Simpsons. Yeah. They're mainly starring Krusty Clown here. That is complete puzzle game here. We have Lemmings 2 Tribes. That is complete. You use your gun con with this one. Lethal Enforcers 2 Gunfighter. Need a CRT television for this bad boy though. Doesn't work too much, too well on flat screens. Have the Lion King, another Disney published game here. That is complete. Math blasters. And when you do math, why not blast it? It only adds up. <laughs> Sorry. One of the treasured McDonald's games on the game, on the system here. We have McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure, starring Ronald McDonald. Did he give you guys the creeps too in those old commercials? Yeah, but it's complete. We have the other one. Mick and Mac Global Gladiators. Fighting some oozy stuff. Which doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's cool that it's a rental from Video Magic. You know, I have any Video Magics near them at the day? I have another rental. Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. Starring Mickey Mouse from King's Video. In Blacksburg, Virginia. Shout out, holla to Blacksburg. Any people in Blacksburg? Shout out, Might and Magic. Gates to Another World. Another RPG I got from my friend Fredro BC. No manual. What do with a manual, Fred? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, yeah. Now, this was a fun game, too. Uh, there, there was a one for the movie as well. Now this one has the stuff in there. It's got the game and the manual back in the back. All black and white. Sweet looking. And then we have another cardboard box game. We have Monopoly. I mean, wh why play Monopoly with friends when you can play by yourself? Yeah. And that's got the manual there too. It's black and white. And then we have the classic Mortal Kombat. Do the blood code, man, and uh, you were just like, you're playing the arcade. Play the Super Nintendo version, no blood. Sorry, buddy. We have Mortal Kombat 2. No manual. Here's the back. But then you moved on to 2 and 3, and then you can see blood in both versions. There you go, Mortal Kombat 3. Only need the manual for this guy. Now this one's probably the most complete Sega Genesis game that I have, and that's Nob Nobunaga's Ambition. Some uh, strategy game with uh, Middle Middle Ages China. It has the manual and the poster. This manual is thick as I don't know what. It's telling you about history and stuff about China. Pretty cool. All right, now we have a cool one here. We have Outrunners. Sequel to Outrun. 
That's complete. Found that one at Goodwill for a few bucks. Nokia, another Disney game. Pretty sure all of them are pretty awesome. Some former fashion. Pit Fighter. Tangan. I'm concerned about those circuit boards. Anyway. No manual. Wish I had the box for this one. It's not a very expensive game, but it's one I do want to get completed. It's in this clear case, but we have a Shining in the Darkness. Recently, well, it's about a, about a year ago now, but finally got to beat Shining the Holy Ark. So that's definitely got to be a play, on the playlist. Shanghai 2, Dragon Eye, Dragon's Eye. Another puzzle game, super complete with the poster and all that stuff. So now we have the few Sonic games here. Sonic the Hedgehog, not for resale. Came with the system. System seller right here. Complete in the box. We have Sonic 2, which is widely regarded as I think a lot of people's favorite Sonic. Sonic and Tails, man. This is the cardboard box. Mega Value One version, which came out later, and it has the game with that yellow spine on it, and the black and white manual and stuff back in the back. Another copy of the regular version of Sonic 3. And that's complete, and has, it even has looks like uh, some cheat codes or something tucked away in there. Something I don't even know what that's about. I have an actual copy of Sonic's 3D Blast. It's uh, a little bit of water damage or something to this one, but games in there, no man. Love getting this one complete in the box, Sonic and Knuckles. I had this game before, but the little tab on the top was broken, but this one completely intact, and it has the manual, so that's awesome. Classic game here, Sonic Spinball. People either love it or hate it. Paid $4.25 for it, seems, and it's complete. Uh, Great pinball game, I think. We have Star Trek The Next Generation. Don't know how the game plays, but the show was awesome. Then we have Street Fighter II Special Championship Edition. Can't go wrong with Street Fighter. Love uh, Vega and Blanca. Subterranea, a shooter that you're going underground fighting creatures and ships and whatnot. So that's in there with my receipt. I picked up from Second and Charles. Love that place obviously. Super Hang On, classic motorcycle racing game. Went so fast though, lost the manual. Sword of Vermilion. RPG on the system. One I must check out. And find a manual for Taz and Skate from Mars. And I realized Taz went there. Black and ma black and white manual though. But another copy of Tiny Toons Adventures Buster's Hidden Treasure, but this one's actually complete in the box, I think, with a receipt, which is awesome. Let's me know how much I paid for it. Toy Story. Those uh, rendered uh, visuals there. Still can't remember what it's called, like Mortal Kombat. Black and white manual in the back, game in the front, ready to go. And to go along with those Mortal Kombat, so we got Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, the ultimate fighting game. All right, so there's the game, but I don't think it has a man, just a registration card. Then we got the Vector Man here. Heard that's a classic. Never played either one of them. But that is with the game and a black and white manual and then we have the sequel vector man 2 both of them have some pretty cool artwork has the game there registration card but i do not believe i have the manual for that guy this one's a pretty cool compilation one this is arcade's greatest hits has robotron defender joust defender 2 and sinistar so you got some shoot 'em ups on here which is pretty awesome we have the game, which is, that's seen better days there. They got to glue that back down. They got a black and white manual. Got the original X-Men. Does not have the special edition poster inside though, I don't think, but it does have a manual. Does it have the poster? No. Does everything else though. Then we have its sequel. And the foily kind of cover here. We got X-Men 2 Clone Wars. 
haven't played that one yet. I think I played a little bit of the first one. But there's the game, and you can see the manual in the back. Pretty cool. Found this one up here in Northern Virginia, which was a nice find. Then we have Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Um, which is also in the Super Nintendo. I think this one has some kind of content, like a special weapon, like a chainsaw or something like that, that the uh, Super Nintendo version did not. And this one's a uh, movie time video. You should rent from there, so that's pretty cool. All right, next we're getting to some ones that I usually have on my shelf here. We're getting to the goods, guys. All right, guys, we're getting to some of the cooler games here. For sure, we have Alicia Dragoon, which, uh, just saw in a recent Sega pickup video. Really happy to get that game complete. Atomic Robo Kid. Got this from my buddy at Second and Charles. This game is hard. I cannot get past the first level. Battle Toads. Still don't think I want to try getting to level three. Although I think I heard this one might be easier. I'm not sure. Maybe I have that wrong. I think it's easier. Comic Zone. Pretty cool, but being in that um, comic book kind of uh, setting. No manual, just a game, no card, no care. Picked this one up fairly recently. It's like a Contra clone, Dinosaurs for Hire. Picked this one up on a recommendation of a buddy of mine. That is complete, of course. Had to get it complete. Fairly cheap. Doom. It's a RTS that. Westwood Studios published before they got into their Command and Conquer series and just dominated the RTS genre. And we have a complete co copy of Shinobi, Re Return of the Ninja Master, Shinobi 3 rather. So I have a dupe of that, which is cool. That's complete. Streets of Rage. This was one of the better, well these were the, the, the beat-em-ups on the system pretty much. Streets of Rage 2, I think, is most people's favorite. This one, again, was uh, not for resale, probably because this was a game package with the system as well. That one is complete. And I recently picked this one up not too long ago, and that is Streets of Rage 3. Not as good as the first two, but happy to have it up in, this, in a case that doesn't really hold the game really well, but that's there. I want to pick up more games in this franchise here, the uh, Valus series, Sid of Valus. It's a renovation title, highly collectible um, company on the Genesis here. No manual. And then we're coming to one of my favorite games on the entire system, Toe Jam and Earl. This game is awesome. Going around avoiding Earthlings as best you can, it gets harder trying to find pieces of your ship, using presents to escape the Earthlings. It's awesome. All right, we have a game we haven't tried out yet. Normies Beach Beach Babe Orama. So apparently, you play Normie and all the girls disappear off the beach, and you gotta go save them. Interesting premise. Scooby Doo Mystery. I'm not sure why this one's so much more expensive than the Super Nintendo version. It's a little bit different than the Super Nintendo version. Um, and that's complete paid. I think eight bucks for this one. But it's going for a lot more for whatever reason. Rocket Knight Adventures. This is a fun action platformer that I still have yet to play. Heard nothing but great things about this game. And that is complete. We have Pirates Gold. I think this is based on Sid Meier's Pirates. Kind of, kind of some um, plays just like those games in the other series. But it's pretty cool. All right, then we have a cool, couple of cool RPGs here. Fantasy Star 2. No manual though. And we have Fantasy Star 3, which is um, the Generations of Doom. This is, I think, widely regarded as people's least favorite version of this game. Or the least favorite Fantasy Star of the four. But still enjoyable nonetheless. More follow up with the storyline. Got this from my buddy Steven, Mutant League ba Football, excuse me, let's say baseball. Still need to try this one out. I enjoy it enough, maybe I'll have to hunt down a copy of the 
Elite League Hockey. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Um, this one's a fairly recent pickup as well. Pretty cool to play as. MJ, saving children all around the world. Very awesome shoot em up. It's taken me 10 years or more to actually pop this in the system and I don't know why it's taking me so long. Thunder Force 4, or as it's known, Lightning Force, the quest for Dark Star. Oh my goodness, this game has the most insane intro in all of gaming, I feel like. It's as awesome. So, definitely highly recommend this one. I mean, it is a shmup though. Pretty difficult. Going along with another fairly difficult game here. We get Gunstar Heroes. Oops, and there goes the game. But it's complete. And that's another awesome shmup shooter kind of game. Not shmup, but shooter platformer. The Death and Return of Superman. Um, this one's pretty cool because it's uh, actually made by uh, Blizzard, believe it or not. And what's cool about this one too, I think, is it's a uh, rental and it came from Video World, which is the first place that I ever rented video games from, so that's really awesome. I don't know if it's the actual same store, but still it's cool. Almost forgot this one, a new purchase uh, for me. Um, really excited to finally have this game, Castlevania Bloodlines. Um, and I didn't know this, but the cardboard box, um, this is, doesn't have the manual or anything, but it does have the game. Um, and the ones that say, this one's assembled in Mexico and has, uh, Sega on the back. The original has the, the clamshell with, uh, Konami on the back. So, this was a re-release. So, the one with the clamshell obviously is more desired all right now you talk about the most difficult game on the system and that is probably going to be this game contra hardcore i played this with my girlfriend's nephew recently and this is hardcore love how you can um, slide under the enemies though kind of trip them up and that, that damages them and even with that like you're, you're gonna have a tough time we have rolling thunder 3 a recent um ebay purchase Choose like nine different weapons to start off with, like special weapons. You got a regular gun, and then you can use your special weapons to help you navigate through the level. Another shoot 'em up here, Philios, Greek mythology. Here you play as Apollo, trying to save Artemis, fighting against Medusa. It's pretty awesome. No manual, but fun game. Played a little bit of that. Not too bad. Now we're getting to one that's kind of. Uh, not a great game, but it's uh, definitely hard to come by. Um, the arcade version was really cool. Um, very di different because you could saw people's arms off and decapitate them and, like by pushing all the buttons. It's, it's time killers. Very gory, brutal game um, on the Genesis here. But the controls are not the greatest. But uh, I get dip it pretty far with the chainsaw token guy. I think he's probably the best one, best character to use. Um, we have Doom Troopers. So it also came on the Super Nintendo, but I think it runs a lot more smoothly and quickly on the Genesis. Um, it does not have a manual, but it does have the game cartridge in there. So that's awesome. Got a good price on that one. Another one, the same seller on eBay picked up this game wings of war so you're playing like is this angel and you're fighting your way through all these uh, demonic creatures um, one of those generic uh, looking covers but that's pretty cool and actually this shoot em up is not very difficult from what I've played it's actually not bad at least the first couple levels this one on the other hand is kind of difficult mutant fighter Excuse me, Mazen Saga Mutant Fighter. 
another eBay purchase recently. I think I got a deal on it because uh, it has a little scratch there and no manual. 50 bucks though, I'll give it a try. And now we're getting to some really, I guess, more heavy hitters here. We have uh, War Song, which is a strategy uh, kind of RPG game where you're moving your party all around. I want to learn how to play this game, but I don't think I have the time right now. But that's cool. And then we have finally got the case to this one. This one's awesome. Uh, troubleshooter. Another shoot 'em up with two uh, anime girls here. Uh, you can have both of them shoot to the front, or one shoot to the front and one shoot to the back. No manual on that one, but um, I'm really glad to have the box. Then we have a classic that I played on one of my. Plank with power videos, Splatterhouse 2. Still want to get the third one. I think this one looks like it's the darkest of darker of the two, though. So I'm really happy to have that one. Got this one from my buddy Eddie again. Um, that's awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, that is that is a cool game. Very difficult. And another difficult shmup here. We have Elemental Master. I regretted not picking this one up last year with these other cool Genesis titles. But I do at least have it now. No manual. Maybe one day. Maybe not. Don't care. At least have the game. And then the final awesome Genesis game that I have is Skeleton Crew. That was one of the ones that I did pick up for a really good price. The game keeps climbing in price. And um, it's a pretty fun isometric shooter kind of game. It's in one of those cardboard boxes, but this one's in pristine shape. Has the game in there, or the game rather. And I still have my price sticker there. And the manual's in there as well, which is awesome. So I think that just about does it for my Sega Genesis Collection video. Um, again, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, we will see you later.